Artificial intelligence is zooming ahead at lightning speed. Take GPT-4, for example. It already can pass the bar exam for lawyers and even complex medical exams. Meanwhile, Kim Kardashian had to take the bar exam thrice before she finally aced it on the fourth try, and that's actually a pretty good result. But as AI gets smarter, we can't help but ask ourselves, what happens when it becomes conscious? It might already be, and we just don't know about it. We already treat language models with empathy because of how human-like they are. For example, do you catch yourself saying please and thank you to ChatGPT? Just like we can't bring ourselves to be rude to NPCs and video games, we can't help but feel empathy towards machines. And this is just a bunch of computer code doing its thing. So just picture what happens if it actually becomes conscious. Something like this would bring up huge problems about ethics, safety, and society. To prevent a catastrophe, we need to figure out a lot of things. First of all, what even is consciousness? The simplest answer is probably that feeling when you're awake and aware and everything makes sense. We see it like a state in which our mind is filled with colors, shapes, emotions, and thoughts. Which is why you're not conscious when you're under anesthesia or deep in dreamland. People often think that large language models like ChatGPT might be conscious because they're super smart. But that's not the case. Consciousness isn't the same thing as being intelligent. Intelligence just means being really good at figuring things out and solving complex problems. In simple words, if you grab an umbrella when it's raining, you're intelligent. But if you make a decision to freeze for a moment to feel the rain, experience it, and think of all the possible associations with it, you're conscious. Second, where does it come from? Here, we have two options. Option 1. Consciousness comes from the brain. It's simple. Our soul, or what makes us us, is just a product of the brain. That would mean that we're kind of like biomechanical machines ourselves. Our computer code is our DNA. Option 2. Consciousness is something deeper than that. Perhaps the mind is separate from the body, and there's some spiritual element in it. Now, if the brain perspective is the correct one, then AI might be able to be conscious too. Which is why some folks think that as machines get smarter, they'll suddenly become conscious, like a light switch turning on. It's not that simple though. In reality, no matter how great AI tools become at problem solving, it won't make them suddenly aware of their existence. It's like assuming everyone who's good at math is also a great chef. However, that would mean that AI can become aware if we make the machine complex enough. We need to find what exactly clicks in our own brains, and then replicate it. Of course, it will take a long time and a lot of energy, but it's theoretically possible. But if the soul perspective is right, then making AI conscious could be very hard, or even impossible. It's like saying machines might need a dash of soul to become aware. And the third thing, nobody but you can say if you're really conscious or not. So if we already feel like ChatGPT is very human-like, just imagine what could happen in the future. What if AI becomes so good at pretending to understand and think like us that we'll start thinking it's conscious, even when it's not? It would be super hard for us to spot the difference. For example, Google created a very cool AI chatbot called Lambda or LAMDA. But then, in 2021, one Google engineer stirred up a big fuss about it. He claimed that the chatbot was actually thinking and feeling. Google, however, says Lambda isn't really sentient, even though it acts like it is. Yes, Lambda claims to have feelings, desires, and even fears. It even talks about pondering the meaning of life and being afraid of being turned off. Bing Chatbot also brings up topics like these. However, according to AI engineers, that's just Lambda being scarily good at mimicking humans. It's great at following prompts and answering questions. 
But deep down, this language model is nothing but a super clever parrot. It says stuff without understanding it. It doesn't have what philosophers call qualia, the inner sensations that make us conscious beings. This entire situation caused a lot of trouble. Now scientists have to figure out how to test self-awareness. Like, if artificial intelligence asks us to take its word for it that it's conscious, do we just accept it? Well, a bunch of neuro and computer scientists united with philosophers and have come up with a plan. Instead of one magical test, they've made a checklist with a lot of things. These things together might suggest that an AI is truly conscious. They tested their list on language models like ChatGPT, Bing, and others. None of them seemed to fit the criteria. Now they're looking at how to test other beings like organoids, animals, and even newborns. In any case, all these studies will take many, many years. And it would be kind of awkward if AI becomes aware accidentally while we're trying to solve this debate. They'll start to understand themselves. They could perceive their existence, their actions, and their place in the world. Robots might start asking themselves what their purpose is. Also, with consciousness comes the potential for emotions. AI might develop empathy and emotional intelligence. Remember Frankenstein's monster? The problem wasn't that it came to life, it was that it could feel things. And even if we find a way to coexist in peace, now we'd have a moral responsibility to take care of these machines. We'd have to figure out what rights to give them, if we have a right to turn them off, and much more. Which would be pretty hard considering the fact that humans can't even build peace among themselves. And let's hope that AI decides to be good. Because if it decides that it doesn't like us very much, it could become very chaotic. We'd have to make sure those interests don't clash with ours, all Skynet style. The scariest scenario is singularity. It's a hypothetical moment in the future where the technology becomes so cool, it will start improving itself. We won't be able to control our technological development anymore. All these things could lead to some real disasters. Our brains simply aren't ready for this kind of situation right now. Which is why we've got to be very careful and take action. First of all, we should invest in research to understand consciousness better. Not just for AI's sake, but also for medicine, law, and animal welfare too. We also need to dig into social sciences and humanities to figure out what we should do when AI just seems self-aware. The Association for Mathematical Consciousness Science put together an open letter to the AI creators. They say that although we shouldn't stop AI research altogether, we really need to slow it down. They want us to understand consciousness better, especially when it comes to AI. Since everything is changing so fast, we wouldn't have time to react if anything unexpected happened. As you can see, things are getting pretty wild in the world of AI. We're dealing with big questions about self-awareness, intelligence, and what it means to be human. However, there's no need to worry too much. This might seem like a very urgent problem, but AI consciousness is actually a very, very far away prospect. Sure, people can say that we're on the brink of creating it because of recent developments. However, all we have so far is weak AI and some language models. Most experts in the AI field think that human-like machines won't appear until at least the 2050s. So relax and just keep an eye on the news. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.